Let's do the same example yet again, except this time we're going to do it the long way uh, where the phaser is written out explicitly. So in other words, u is going to be equal to the real part of e to the j omega t. <laughs> and x is going to be written as the real part of m e to the j omega t plus phi. Uh, we're going to do this a long way just to be able to demonstrate the full effect of the, uh, how the phaser works. So we need x double dot, which is just going to be m times j omega squared times e to the j omega t plus phi plus 0.4 times j omega times e to the j omega t plus phi. And I think I'm missing a factor of m here. Plus 4 times m e to the j omega t plus phi. All of this has to be equal to e to the j omega t, uh, where we're taking the real part of everything. Now, notice that we can collect all of the m's. We can also collect all of the j phi's, and we can collect all of j omega t's like this. And all of this gets multiplied by j omega squared plus 0.4 j omega plus 4 within the real part. And then uh, what can we do with this? Well, uh, notice that there's an e to the j omega t on both sides, so we can just uh, reduce that. And we know that we have m e to the j phi is equal to 1. This is what the right-hand side is equal to, 1 angle 0 divided by the um, denominator, which is 4 minus omega squared, that's the real part, plus the imaginary part, 0 0.4 omega, where we need to convert the denominator also into um, a magnitude and a phase. So that's where we get the 4 minus omega squared squared plus 0 0.4 omega squared with an angle of arctangent 0.4 omega divided by 4 minus omega squared. So uh, this still sits inside the real part, but the idea is that there's only one way to satisfy this uh, for any time, and that is if this equality is true, uh, for both the real and the imaginary parts. So that means that uh, we don't even need to write the uh, real part anymore. We can drop that and write m e to the j phi is equal to 1 over square root of 4 minus omega squared squared plus 0 0.4 omega squared um, minus arctangent at an angle of arc minus arctangent 0.4 omega divided by 4 minus omega squared. So this is the long way of finding the uh, sinusoidal response. Uh, and the shortcut is that we just take the transfer function and we plug in s equals j omega. And that also is a way for us to evaluate m angle phi.